Six months ago, I said that if I want to take my fixed gear riding to the next level, I would get a nice steel bike with wide riser handlebars. Here it is. I want to tell you why I chose to get this specific bike, what I think is great about it, and why I was a bit unsure before buying it. With a long wheelbase and sloped geometry, the Ribble Urban 725S is almost a fixed gear gravel bike, it's great for track lacrosse with fancy Reynolds 725 steel tubing and clearance for at least 40mm tires. I like to ride it on gravel roads and take shortcuts over grass and such, but I would love to try riding simple mountain bike trails with it at some point. I think there are some in my area. Maybe the most unique thing about this frame is that it has internal cable routing. This is rare for a fixed gear bike because rear brakes are just not used a lot. I want double hand brakes though, so it's perfect for me. The gearing is on the lower side, 4416, which is pretty great for uneven terrain. This combination of nice steel, beefy tires, wide handlebars, a short stem and low gear ratio makes the Ribble pretty much the opposite of what I get from my Dolan Precursor. So they complement each other perfectly. The Ribble is also a very beginner friendly bike, so it's perfect for letting friends ride it when they visit, because everyone has to try riding fixed gear when they visit me. The pizza tastes even better after a bike ride. I'm not using the stock wheels or the stock saddle on this bike, so I can't really comment on those, but overall the components feel very good. It's a size large frame. I can comfortably ride it with a slam stem, at least with these handlebars. Just before this ride, I took the bike over to a friend who helped me cut the steer tube. I told him as a joke that we should also cut off the rear axle bits that are sticking out to save some more weight. He said sure, why not, and brought out the power tools. It was fun to watch and I think it looks better now. Didn't save that much weight though. There were two things holding me back from buying the bike for a while. The major one being its color. Ribble calls this color grey, but it changes from picture to picture. Sometimes it looks as blue as a Pepsi can. I didn't want a grey bike, and I even called the Ribble sales team and asked how blue it is, and they said that it's bluish grey. Now that I have it in real life, I would say that it is greyish blue. I am happy with how it looks in reality. The second problem with the bike is that Ribble has outrageously expensive shipping and buying a bike from the UK means import taxes. Thanks Brexit! But if you live in the UK, the Ribble Urban 725S is still a steal of a steel fixed gear bike. 